The 1st of April, 1945, 325,000 German troops encircled in the Ruhr. The Allied crossing of the Rhine took the Germans by surprise, since the river was seen by many commanding officers as an almost impenetrable barrier and a protector of the fatherland. Since the Allied were advancing east at speed, it was inevitable that pockets of Germans might be left behind. But on the 1st of April, 1945, when the U.S. 1st and 9th Armies linked up at Lipstad, some 125 kilometers east of the Rhine as the crow flies, it was a little more than a pocket that was left behind. By their swift maneuvers, the Americans had managed to encircle virtually the whole of the Ruhr, and 325,000 German troops were trapped. The 4th of April, 1945. Germans leave Hungary. On the Eastern Front, things were going from bad to worse for the Germans during the spring of 1945. The Red Army had the upper hand on all sections of the front, from north to south. In Hungary, fierce battles were fought by the 2nd and 3rd Ukrainian armies, when German and Hungarian armies tried hard to relieve the forces trapped in Budapest. During March, the 6th SS Panzer Army had attacked around Lake Balaton in an action not dissimilar to the Ardennes Offensive, and with more or less the same outcome. By the 19th of March, the SS were fleeing back over the Austrian border, and by the 4th of April, German forces had had to completely abandon Hungary. The 5th of April, 1945. Patton is 100 kilometers east of the Rhine after fast advance. The U.S. Third Army, under the continued command of General Patton, was still forging ahead into the heart of Germany and had, by the 5th of April, 1945, reached a point more than 100 kilometers east of their crossing point on the Rhine. It might be argued that he could have moved even faster, but General Eisenhower, supported by President Roosevelt, did not find it desirable for the Americans to reach Berlin first. He felt that the German capital was an easier target for the Russians, and the Soviet Union would prove cooperative in regard to post-war European responsibilities. There is little doubt that Joseph Stalin would have been amused had he been aware of this argument. The 12th of April, 1945. President Roosevelt dies. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt.